I'm here investigating one of the most haunted areas in Cabo Rojo. It's allegedly haunted by the pirate Cofresi or el pirata Cofresi. Huele raro. For the past minutes, I've been listening to some sounds around here, like something walking. Neo Tiken Unibi. Hay alguien aquí. Something is moving around here. What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Bruce J, the Latino Ghost Hunter. And tonight I'm gonna take you to one of the most haunted spots in Puerto Rico. If you're familiar with Puerto Rico, you know Puerto Rico is basically an island in the Caribbean. And if we're talking about the Caribbean, well, you know it's very old and a lot of bad things happen in the Caribbean. But especially in Puerto Rico, there's many myths and legends about pirates. So tonight, I'm gonna take you with me to explore a location that hasn't been investigated before. This is for the first time ever. It's basically a ghost town in the middle of nowhere near a really beautiful, and I mean, a beautiful beach in Puerto Rico. So tonight, we're gonna hunt for El Pirata Cofresi, or basically the pirate Cofresi, who was a well-known pirate in the Caribbean. Allegedly, the ghost of El Pirata Cofresi is protecting a treasure that is hidden somewhere in this place. So familia, I'm not gonna let you wait. So here's the story about El Pirata Cofresi and the location that I'm taking you tonight with me. Here we go. Hacienda La Romana. The hacienda belonged to relatives of the well-known pirate Cofresi. It was owned by Gomercindo Cofresi Rios, uncle of the pirate Roberto Cofresi. Many calls it Hacienda Cofresi. In 1818, Cofresi set out and began his life of pirating along with his crew, which was a collection of friends and family. Cofresi is often depicted as a sort of a Robin Hood to the people of Puerto Rico, because at the time he was pilfering and plundering, he would give some of his booty to the poor people there. He only attacked American, French, and English ships, so he was heralded as a local hero, and his people would often hide him from American and Spanish authorities. Despite his positive reputation with those local to his home country, there are some other more nefarious claims about him. There are some that say that he sold his soul to the devil to acquire superpowers, such as invisibility and strength for himself and his crew. Those things will certainly make traveling and pillaging easier. In 1825, Cofresi's luck ran out and he was captured and executed by a fiery squad. True to his reputation, he refused a blindfold when he was executed. His last words were reportedly, I have killed hundreds with my own hands and I know how to die. Fire. There are also claims that Cofresi never really left his world, but has lingered in spirit form in various locations. There's a rumor that in his inebriated state, He'll reveal where his treasure is hidden, but be careful with believing this old ghost. According to a story about an American archaeologist, she became obsessed with finding his treasure, only to jump into the water and be turned about by hungry sharks who at first looked like tiny fish. So, don't believe everything a ghost tells you. It's belief that this used to be where Cofresi used to hide from authorities. Many people say that Cofresi hided his treasure at this hacienda. For centuries, this hacienda has been abandoned and locals say that the ghost of Cofresi is seen lingering around protecting the treasure. 
Many people have seen shadow figures, full body apparitions of what's been described as ghosts of pirates, the voices of men and women screaming in agony. Many people have experienced hearing African music and singing in a strange language. The apparition of the demonic hound dogs that allegedly are protecting this land. I'm here investigating one of the most haunted areas in Cabo Rojo. It's allegedly haunted by the pirate Cofresi or Pirata Cofresi. EVP session at Las Ruinas in Cabo Rojo. This used to be an old hacienda where allegedly people have seen the ghost of Cofresi and ghost of others like pirates and stuff like that. This used to be an old hacienda where allegedly people have seen the ghost of Cofresi and ghost of others like pirates and stuff like that. People have practiced witchcraft here, brujeria, santeria, even voodoo. So if this used to be an hacienda, I'm gonna start doing an EVP session using word in African. Senibe and Ikeninibi? Nibiti o ti lati. Nio kanakuta via vo. Como du melonie. Nio ti kotini bi. Nio ti kunu. Nibi. Iviti ebiri nilati. Nio kan eru. Nio felati li sile ile. Peleo oruku. Ni Bruce J. A ti emilio felati si o visaro pelurie. Mo wani bilati kopirari. Tio pani. Ije ki yona. Mo kani wa. Fungida huna ti awoti. Oyohe. Ohugo la la ti vire. A wong i bere. Kanti. O a ti ke. Hongi ba. Ke si para kuro. Am lilu ji o huti mole. Lo la ti o go. O ki o si ra ke. Tio ba. O ki o si ra ke. Tio ba. Ji ba su mo mi a. Lilo ni si ne a mas pani. La ti yo ge bo. Ki. O si mo wepe, a ti wanebe, ni o kangeru, o mo do melonie, ni o ti kenu ni bi. Ni o ti kenu ni bi. Yo voy a ba, hola ti mi que yo le tan guón y mao le lo ri. Ti o na en mi o, mo peti o pa guán y bi pelumi. Maberu, yo voy si o hukan. Yo voy y va, hola ti mi que o le tan guón y mao le lo ri. Ti o na en mi o, mo pe ti o pa guán y bi pelumi. Maberu, yo voy a ser un hukang. 
Se ne akankan ki ali lo wopi. Peti obi wa nibi. Let's count. I want to hear you. I want to know if you're here with me. Ini ehi eta. One, two, three. Ini ehi eta. I'm basically talking to slaves here. I want to know if I can communicate with some of the slaves that used to be in this area. This place is well known for not only having pirates, but also for having slaves in the haciendas nearby. And this being an hacienda, I know that there used to be slaves in this grounds just because this used to be a sugar cane plantation and where sugar plantations were at, you always saw slaves. So that's why I'm talking African. Ini ehi eta. One, two, three. Ini ehi eta. I'm basically talking to slaves here. I want to know if I can communicate with some of the slaves that used to be in this area. This place is well known for not only having pirates, but also for having slaves in the haciendas nearby. And this being an hacienda, I know that there used to be slaves in this grounds just because this used to be a sugar cane plantation and where sugar plantations were at, you always saw slaves. So that's why I'm talking African or trying to talk a little bit of Yoruba here to see if I can communicate with someone or something. Momo wati koti si o junto yi fun fun o kurin sin sin yeye. I'm Kunibilati in Palaraniyin. I'm Nibilati Soro Si Oki Osi Heki Ogobogo Iniyabo Mope Awong Iniyang Tio Mu Onibini Awa Ibi Ati Buburu. Come on, show yourself. I want to know if you're here with me. Come on, show yourself. I want to know if you're here with me. Hola. Si hay alguien aquí, por favor, se podría comunicar conmigo. ¿A qué te huele, Sebi? Olor raro, ¿verdad? Como a sudor, ¿verdad? Mm. Un olor raro de momento. No sé si las plantas que están alrededor mío. Huele raro. Hola. Mi nombre es Bruce J. Yo estoy aquí buscando respuestas. De hecho, estoy buscando a mi familiar, a Cofresí, Roberto Cofresí. Sé que tú andabas por estas calles, caminos, escondiéndote. Y escondiendo cosas. No me interesa tu tesoro, Cofresí. Pero me interesa comunicarme contigo. Si Cofresí está aquí, ¿podría hacer algún tipo de ruido? Hola. ¿A 
¿Hay alguien aquí? Sé que tú andabas por estas calles, caminos, escondiéndote y escondiendo cosas. No me interesa tu tesoro que ofrecí, pero me interesa comunicarme contigo. Si que ofrecí está aquí, ¿podría hacer algún tipo de ruido? Hola. ¿Hay alguien aquí? Hola, estoy buscando a Cofresí. ¿Alguien lo conoce? No soy soldado de la realeza de España, bla, bla, bla. No. Yo soy un familiar de él y estoy buscando respuestas. No vengo buscando el tesoro. No me interesa. Something is moving around here. No me interesa. Something is moving around here. Estoy buscando el tesoro de que ofrecí ahora. Ahora sí estoy decidido a llevarme el tesoro. Cofresí, si estás aquí, por favor, comunícate. Cofresí, si estás aquí, por favor, comunícate. Hola, cualquier persona que esté aquí se quiera comunicar conmigo, esta es tu oportunidad. No sé quién eres, pero me interesaría saber quién eres. Si te acercas, tengo algo en mi mano donde yo podré escuchar tu voz. Si estás aquí. Así que por favor no tengas miedo, puedes hablar conmigo en confianza. ¿De dónde eres? Donde yo podré escuchar tu voz. Si estás aquí. Así que por favor no tengas miedo, puedes hablar conmigo en confianza. ¿De dónde eres? ¿Cuál es tu nombre? ¿Qué edad tienes? What's going on everyone? I know you are enjoying this episode, which is very scary. Many things happening in this episode, many creepy stuff. You can hear a lot of really creepy things. Before we continue with this episode, I want to invite you to please subscribe to this channel. If you haven't subscribed, smash that like button. Please, people, it's free content. Please subscribe and smash that like button, it's free. Hey, familia, you can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram at BruceJTV. Another thing, if you wanna support this channel, you can also become a member. And also, if you wanna buy the official merch of El Casa Fantasma or the Latino Ghost Hunter, just go to BruceJTV.com. There you can choose whatever merch you like and you can buy and you are supporting this channel so I can continue doing more content for you guys. So I'm not gonna let you wait no more. Let Let's hit it over there. For the past minutes, I've been listening to some sounds around here, like something walking. Te he escuchado algo como que moviéndose en esta área. No sé si puede ser algún cangrejo o qué. Déjame tratar algo más extremo. Ahora.
where I'm about to go in here, where allegedly people have heard stuff and where people have done many stupid things like witchcraft and other stuff. So let me go in here, whatever. Thank <laughs> you. 